Hello children, let me continue the remaining part of the lesson, Reproduction and Modification in Plants. Today's topic is Modification of Stem. Some plant species have modified stem that are especially suited to a particular habitat and environment. The stem helps in providing structure and support to the plant. It is modified into three important types, underground modification, sub-aerial modification and aerial modification. Now we are going to learn about underground modification of stem. In underground modification of stem, whole stem is buried under the ground and it has definite growth. Usually stem grows above the ground but there are some stems that grow under the ground to store food. These underground stems swell and become thick. There are four types of underground stem. Rhizome, comb, tuber, bulb. First we are going to deal about rhizome. It is an underground thick stem with nodes in internode with scale leaves at the node. It grows horizontally and has a irregular shape. Rhizome have buds. It give rise to new stem and leaves. Example ginger turmeric. Example ginger turmeric comb. This condensed form of stem grows in the vertical direction. It is spherical in shape with a flattened base. It has distinct nodes and internodes. Adventitious roots are present either at the base or all over the body. The axillary buds are present on the side. Example, Colocasia, which is tuber. It is a fleshy part of a plant which stores food. Potato is a most common tuber largely used as food. The lower part of the potato gets covered by the earth where the adventitious branches grow. It is covered with a number of depression called eye and each eye represents a node. It does not contain adventitious root. These are largely used as food and grow very slowly. The last one is the bulb. Mainly fleshy scale leaves are present. The base of the bulb consists of cluster of adventitious root, example onion, garlic. The bulb may be tunicated or scaly. A sheath of dry membranous scale leaves covers the tunicated bulb. A scaly bulb contains no tunic. Example, onion and garlic. Aerial modification of stem. The stems are modified into aerial form to perform important functions such as climbing, food storage, vegetative propagation and protection. The stem modification are as follows. Stem dentrils, thorn, phylloglass, gladots, bulbils, thalamus. Stem dentrils, a long, wiry, spirally, coiled, delicate, sensitive structure formed by the modification of buds are called stem dentril. These are meant for climbing. Stem dentrils may be all axillary, example passiflora, extra axillary, example lufa, apical bud, example grapevine, floral bud, example antigonan. Next one is thorns. The hard, woody, pointed structure formed by the modification 
of buds are called thorns. Thorns are used as defense organ and help to check transpiration. Example: Bougainvillea. Thorns can be distinguished from spines and prickles as they are deep seated with vascular connection. Prickles are superficial outgrowth on the plant. Spines are the modified plant organ. Next one is phylloglad. These are leaves modified into scales or spine to check transpiration. This is done by controlling the growth of the leaves. These are fleshy, green and take part in photosynthesis. This modification is seen in xerophytic plant and store water. Example, Opentia. It consists of fleshy internode and the leaves are modified into spines or small scaly leaves. Example, Cactus. Next one is gladodes. It is a type of phylloglad which consists of only one internode. These are cylindrical but not fleshy. These help in photosynthesis. Example asparagus. Next one is bulbils. These are modified axillary vegetative or floral bud meant for food storage. They undergo vegetative propagation to form a new plant. Example, Dioscoria. In this, the bulbils are condensed axillary bud. Thalamus. It is the axis of flower and contains a flower organs such as calyx, corolla, andrisium and gynesium. It consists of nodes and internodes. Next topic is sub-aerial modification of system. In sub-aerial modification of stem, the stem is partly aerial and partly underground. Short aerial branches and adventitious roots develop at the node. Detachment of entire branch or a node can develop into a new plant. The plants are commonly known as creepers. The weak sub-aerial stems are modified into four types. One is runner, second one stolon, third one sucker, fourth one is offset. Now we are going to learn about the runner. It is a creeping stem with long internode running horizontally on the soil surface. The nodes bear axillary bud scale leaves and adventitious root. Runners arise from an axillary bud. A mother plant often produces a number of runners in all directions. Runners break off and grow into individual plant. Example, hydrocotyl vulgaris. Next one is sucker. It arises from the basal underground part of the main stem. It grows horizontally for a distance under the soil and then emerges obliquely upwards. It develops a leafy shoot and adventitious root before separating from the mother plant. Example, chrysanthemum and menthol. Next one is stolon. It is a weak lateral branch that arises from the base of the main stem. After growing aerially for short time, it bends downward to touch the ground where its terminal bud gives rise to a new shoot and adventitious root. Example, Jasminum. Finally, is the offset. It is a short runner with one internode long. It originates from leaf axil, grows as a short horizontal branch. It produces a rosette of leaves above and adventitious roots below. Offsets are generally found in aquatic plant. Example, Pistia, Icornia. The last topic is 
modification of leaves in many plants leaves get modified to perform some special function other than the normal one some plants of xerophytic habitat have highly thickened and succulent leaf with water storage tissue this kind of adaptation helps plant to conserve very limited supply of water and resist drying up example cactus leaf dentril in weak stem plant leaf or a part of a leaf gets modified into green thread like structure called dentril which help in climbing around a support the parts of leaf which get modified into dentrils are as follows the entire leaf is modified into dentril example thrus apaca while p next one is upper leaflet is modified into dentril example pisum sativum that is p next one is terminal leaflet is modified into dentril example naravelia next one is leaf tip is modified into dentril example gloriosa another one is petiole is modified into dentril example clematis and finally stibule is modified into dentril example spilax next function is leaf is modified into spine leaves of certain plant become whorly or partially modified for defensive purpose into sharp pointed structure known as spine example is opentia here in opentia axillary buds are modified into spine and in date plant leaf apex is made modified into spine the commonly known aloe vera in aloe vera spines develop on the margin as well as at the apex next one is phyllode in acacia are in acacia auriculiformes petioles expand to form leaf like structure they carry out the function of leaf that is photosynthesis the last one is insects catching leaves in, in insectivorous plant like nepenthes called pitcher plant the leaves are modified into a flask like structure which is used to attract insects and other tiny animals the inner wall of leaf secretes digestive enzyme that help to digest the insect and extract the nitrogen needed for the plant example nepenthes